I'm Erik de Bruin. I wanted to show you something cool that I've made. A good friend of my father is unable to walk for a very long time. So he has this very, very nice uh, electric uh, scooter that allows him to go to all kinds of places. But the problem is he has range anxiety. So it's this really nice scooter, but he does not know how many miles he has left or kilometers. At least uh, he has this uh, odometer, which was mounted on his steering wheel. Um, and uh, it told him how many miles left. Uh, but somebody has broken uh, the mount, so he was unable to, uh, to be able to read out, uh, and so it was unable to communicate. So he came to me with this uh, semi-repaired uh, thing. Now, actually, he's a dentist, so he's pretty good with his hands, and he used all kinds of material that is actually pretty strong and interesting, but uh, it was unable to uh, hold on to the part very well. So what is essential is that these contacts need to be exactly aligned for them to uh, be able to communicate. So um, it's battery powered by itself, but it needs to uh, receive a signal of, uh, from the uh, scooter. So I tried to think uh, of ways to make uh, the two of these work together better, but uh, I was unable to really make a stable solution out of this. So I decided to completely redesign it, which is cooler. And then uh, at the same time, if I would be able to 3D print it, uh, other people might also be able to benefit from this if this breaks. Um, so what I actually did, I designed it in a very nice way. I designed it with the Ulti Shaper. Now, this is the Ulti Shaper. This is a tool where right in the web page, you can uh, start designing completely in 3D. Um, so you can see the uh, thing that you've made. Um, in 3D and it's made in a very logical way so you're actually designing it by uh, making uh, blocks and dragging and dropping them together so for example if I select this you see in yellow you see uh, the base part that's the first part and so essentially what it does is um, uh, it moves a certain primitive to a certain location and then there are other uh, shapes uh, that are subtracted from it and they're also in certain uh, positions so essentially there's a cube or uh, or a, a cuboid uh, structure and some other shapes are subtracted from it uh, most notably the holes for example um, so it's a base with a few holes and then the next part um, is the cylinder so if I select that it will uh, glow up in yellow and the cylinder has some uh, cutouts because if you look very closely to this part, uh, maybe you'll see it right there. Um, there are these um, uh, protrusions, and these can be used to completely lock it into place. So this is the design. And so I printed it with Cura with the Ultimaker. And let's see, this is the part. And if you when I look at the layers, it is a, has a little bit of a base, and then there's this ring. And at the start, this ring has some cutouts, and at some point the cutout is covered, and this is where it starts to lock it. I don't know if that's very visible, but it works really well. So I did two iterations. One was a little bit too tight for my taste. That's this one. But here you can see very well how it works. So it's this, it's this part. And I'll show you the final part, which became really nice. I've added these, uh, these bolts, and they are contacts, essentially, um, but also uh, allow me to mount a wire uh, here. So I use this existing wire. And then the here, this black part, that's just, uh, this, this black part is just a uh, um, little, uh, piece of flexible material that allows it allows this person to mount it to the steering wheel again. So, okay, let's give it a try. So here's the odometer. We just we just push uh, here we go, push it on. It fits very snugly and then we can just rotate this. And now everything snaps into place. And so you can see here that the contacts actually um, press down on the uh, on these little spring-loaded uh, contacts. So there's a very good uh, tight fit. 
So you can really design down to the millimeter with, uh, with this design tool. And uh, actually for the second iteration, I wanted to make the, um, the cylinder structure a little bit wider. So uh, I just added a little number to this calculation and the whole design was recalculated. And I could just uh, print that. So it's very easy to iterate and to get something to fit exactly. And so I would say that's a very uh, nice benefit of the ulti shaper. So, okay, well, that's uh, that's all I have to say. So uh, this was a really nice solution. And I hope, uh, and hope that he's very happy with it and able to go all kinds of places. So here you go. That's the story of this, <laughs> of this make, of this build. Bye-bye.